Okay, let's do some Python on hardware. Okay, it's Blinkit time. It is Blinkit time. Code plus community. That's us. Yeah. So lots th of code. This week. Lots of community. Yeah. So this is tracking COVID vaccination progress with Circuit Python. Yay. Um, this is a uh, not only a good project, but it's also like. After a while, like we have the number of infections and deaths and stuff like that, and we've had to do that. And it's a good indicator to have and to know, especially for like local regions and stuff like that. But eventually, like you know, it'd be nice to have. <laughs> okay, what next? And this is just the start of it. So this is vaccination updates. A lot of states are doing dashboards, so we'll see more of this. And a lot of places will be able to. Uh, I think in San Francisco right now, you sign up and you get an alert when it's your turn to get a vaccine. Ooh. So all we got to do is make a bunch of vaccines now. Yes. Uh, Pike Quarter, Joey was on the show and tell. This is a very neat tricorder uh, with like a sharp display. Use an L car interface. It has all sorts of sensors and more. So and if yeah, you ever wanted neat. to build a tricorder. He's totally again. loving that 7051. He's just like blowing it up. Yeah, I love it. I the, mean, it's just like the capacitive touchpad. It's so cool. The uh, Osh Park After Dark silk looks really nice. Goth. Too. All right. So you can check this out and more. Uh, 2021 Open Hardware Summit calls for proposals. Uh, it's virtual this year. You can propose your talk or a sponsor. Uh, CircuitPython 6.1 release candidate one is released. So we have some updates. Um, anything that you want to mention for people to try out? Um, 6.1 is pretty much the ESP32 S2 mag tag. A lot of stuff with Wi-Fi. With six, there's just so many bugs and tweaks and updates. I think we added some more alarm modes, sleep modes. Um, yeah, just a ton of little details, and we're gonna do a six two soon. Um, well, we're gonna update um, a couple more modules, and uh, there's gonna be more ESP thirty two S two stuff coming in, um, including the uh, sockets so that you can have the ESP act as a host, not just like right now it can connect to websites, but for it to act like a website, I think we still have to merge that in and do a release. So that's coming in six two. Uh, still, we wanted to get a stable release out as soon as possible, just so people with mag tags and. Other ESP32 S2 boards got all the latest fixes and, and updates. Okay. What if the Python REPL was like basics, got experiments editing Python code, like basic was edited. The idea is imagining this as default mode for Raspberry Pi 400. It's a mix of modern and retro. You can check that out on GitHub. And uh, this is in contrast to Quick Python, which runs on old PCs. Uh, Scott has a deep dive this week. Do check that out. We have our um, Happy New Year 2021 Circuit Python entries of what you want to see and more, please get those in because guess what? If you say you want something in Circuit Python, we add it. We do. We'll probably do it. Yeah. Um, news from around the web. Here is a really cool module Circuit Python number pad. Uh, this was from a Redditor and the Circuit Python subreddit. It's still a popular place if you want to share your projects over there too. We're going to Circuit Python, Circuit Python for search for this uh, UDraw uh, Wii game tablet. That's micro draw. I love that. Like all these like old Wii, you know, I'm not seeing a resurgence of people who are like these Wii controllers with I squared C connections are cheap and they're easy to There's use. Just added that little Wii mode adapter. There's some feather carriers. You can check those out that are getting worked up. This is, uh, you know, like I was saying, here's some hope, some optimism. Here's California vaccinations. You can see how many were uh, put in arms each day. Here is. Um, Scott Hansel has got TikTok. And it's like. It's yeah, we're common. watching that. Um, it's awesome. And then uh, CircuitPython Loader. It's a simple script that will wait for a CircuitPython drive to appear, raise all the files from it, then copy the contents over to CircuitPython folder. And so you can then choose all the different things oh, you want to. Quick loader. Yeah. Okay. And then other odds and ends. Uh, if you're looking for Jupyter stuff, it's MicroPython. Put that in the newsletter. Um, you can check out uh, the events that are coming up. We have our coming soons. Uh, I think we're almost up to 300. Yeah, 291 libraries. We're getting closer to 300. Oh, I released like three this week, so there's, we're going to get to okay, we'll 300 then a month or so. Check out what our team is up to. This Saturday, Lady Ada is talking about CircuitPython Blinka, which is not just straight up CircuitPython. She'll talk about the differences and what Blinka is and more. Writing libraries and running them on single board Linux computers, which is a dream come true for me because yeah. I love Linux, but I also kind of hate Linux. Um, I, like most people who use Linux, so um, getting all of our CircuitPython libraries running on, you know, easily 50 or 100 different Linux boards now is amazing. It's so cool that yeah. it's like no matter what weirdo Linux board you got, we'll make it work. All right, and uh, check out the rest of the newsletter. You can get this on AdafruitDaily.com. We don't spam. We don't harvest your emails. 
I'm subscribe anytime. It's a completely separate site, adafruitdaily.com. Check it out, and that is our Python on hardware news this week. Yay, Blinka!